Okay, welcome back. Um, so in the last video, I showed you how to download other people's brushes off the internet and use them. And in this video, I'm going to um, show you how to start creating your own basic GIMP brushes. So this is um, a really simple way to do brushes. It's basically just you drawing something with the pencil tool and then making it into a brush. Um, this would be good if you wanted to make like, you know, just like a little heart or a little pattern or something. Um, I used it one time to make like my signature and then I could just like paste it on all my drawings as a brush instead of having to do it every time. So what you want to do to start is just do file new to open a new drawing and that's it doesn't really matter what size but go to advanced options and under this you want to make sure it's grayscale and uh, set this back to black and white and say and put it as background color. Click OK and it should open up your new drawing. So there's your canvas. Um, this is where you're going to be working. And so um, for this, I ju I'm just going to do maybe like a squiggly. So just like, how about a little circly squiggle thing? Yeah, that's kind of cool. All right. So anyway, um, so there's my brush that I made. And um, now when I say this, here's something important to keep in mind whenever you're making GIMP brushes. It it's just in black and white. And... Um, or you can use gray, so like, you know, it's under, the mode is grayscale um, instead of RGB, so you can't do any color, but just remember this, um, black will turn, will, will show up, um, that'll be solid, and white will disappear when you, um, when you make it into a brush. So do file, in order to save it, do save as, and then you want to go to your GIMP folder, um, just like where we saved brushes in the last video. This is where you're going to put all your brushes and uh, just save it as something like I'm gonna, just going to do um, testbrush.gbr make sure it's .gbr that's the extension for GIMP brushes um, and just do you can change the spacing if you want I'm not going to for this and you can make a name for it this is how it will show up um, as the name for your brush so do, I'm just going to do once again test brush one do save and it shouldn't take that long to save um, and so then I'm going to go back to this and then I can do refresh on the brushes because remember that's how we uh, show any new brushes that you may have downloaded and I'm going to go down and find my brush or I could just go like there you go I'm just going to type that in save some time the name and that's really big so we're going to make it a bit smaller so there's my brush, and I can change the color of that and just use it like any other brush. Um, so yeah, now if you want to move on to the next video, I'm going to show you how to make some more, a little bit more complex brushes. Um, so yeah.